प्लेग्राउंड हैज़ रिलीज्ड देयर न्यू फैंटेस्टिक वर्जन 2.5 मॉडल दिस मॉडल इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टेक्स्ट टू इमेज जनरेटिव मॉडल अवेलेबल टू द पब्लिक एंड रिसर्च कम्युनिटी राइट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन यूज इट एंड प्ले अराउंड विद इट प्ले ग्राउंड वर्जन टू पॉइंट फाइव इज द स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट ओपन सोर्स मॉडल इन एस्थेटिक क्वालिटी विद अ पर्टिकुलर फोकस ऑन एनहांस्ड कलर एंड कंट्रास्ट इट हैज़ इम्प्रूवड जनरेशन फॉर मल्टी एस्पेक्ट रेशोज एंड इम्प्रूवड ह्यूमन सेंट्रिक फाइन डिटेल दे हैव ऑल्सो पब्लिश दिस टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट फॉर दिस मॉडल एंड इट इज़ अवेलेबल ऑन हगिंग फेस आई विल ऑल्सो ड्रॉप द लिंक टू इट इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन and if you go through it you will be simply mesmerized with the work they have put in so i'm not going to go into the detail of it but let me just quickly show you some of the examples which they have shared as a comparison look at this image i mean this is simply amazing the bottom one is uh with this playground version 2.5 and you can see the difference for the above stxl model look at this one again the bottom one is version 2.5 and the difference in the image is amazing similarly look at this image how vivid how bright how realistic this looks and look at the attention to the detail have a look at this one amazing stuff now this release what these researchers and creators have done is that they have intentionally chose to push the bounds of their current stxl architecture and they are really excited to explore new architectures and future model now they have also come up with a novel set of methods that drove a surprisingly significant increase in aesthetic quality even with the current architecture and there are a lot of things they have improved in this model that it's really hard to um, put it in this one but one highlight i want to uh, put it here that they have open sourced the model and have shared its pre training with and over the last two months they have been pleased to see that the community has done up work on their model for example playground version 2 has already accumulated over 135000 download on hugging face in just last one month amazing stuff so this model has enhanced color and contrast because latest latent diffusion models or ldms typically struggle to generate images with vibrant color and contrast this has been known limitation since st 1.5 for example stxl is incapable of generating a pure colored image and fails to place subject into solid colored background and that is where this model shines as i as i shown you in few of the examples here now the static quality is amazing now let me show you how you can get started with it so the first thing you need to do is to go to their playground website and then just click on get started here once you will click on it it is going to take you to this screen let me make it bit bigger and you just have to sign in with your google account i i have signed it with my gmail account and from here you can start using it so now all you need to do is to first select your model so on the right hand side you can see that there are various models so click here and you can select playground 2.5 here I, or if you want you can select the other ones like uh, stable diffusion but i think let's go with playground version 2.5 because that is what we are going to try out here now there are a few presets but i'm not going to go with the presets preset mean just a preset configuration we will set our own i'm just going to go with 512 by 512 and then speed and quality fast let's try to see how it works i'm not going to put any random seed number number of images is one fine so because but you can increase of course to as much as you like private session means that if um you don't want your generated images to be public you can put it in private but that is for the pro version not in the free version okay now let's go to the left hand side this is where you specify your filters your prompts prompt is simply your text through which you generate your images 
now in order to give the prompt let me give it a prompt so here i'm asking it that a sensuous flamenco dancer under moonlight intimate portrait of a flamenco dancer mid performance passionate expression flowing red dress with ruffles traditional spanish fan moonlight moonlit night andalusian courtyard so make sure that you know make it as descriptive as possible the more descriptive the more effort you will put it in here the more better it will be now also try to give some negative prompt here because you don't want your image to be ugly deformed noisy blurry distorted and all that stuff this is good i i will keep it like this and then image to image i'm not going to go the image for this example let's go with this and we will check out filters later so let's click on generate here and then you can see that on the right hand side it is generating it let's wait for it to come back wow amazing stuff how cool is that look at the re realistic image and then from here you can download it you can or if you click on action you can do a lot of stuff like you can in paint here or you can uh, use image setting and you can do a lot of stuff so i mean for in paint you can just draw something here for example if i just make it here and i just say okay maybe you know just remove this and then you can click on done and then it will regenerate you would have to click on regenerate here okay now another thing is that you can add a filter for example i just want to say okay this is a realistic one i go to want to go with let's say uh, where is a platonic one okay let's go with a real cartoon action and then click on generate and it is going to apply the filter on it let's wait for it to come back taking bit of a time and it is telling us that we are on a slower version and of course if you want more shorter wait times then you need to upgrade but be aware that even if with a paid version because this is so popular even with a paid version you would have to wait a bit and the more images you generate in the free version the more wait you would have to go through it that is fine let's wait and th there you go how beautiful is that how cool is that there you go and then of course you can just but drag this column to put it in one row so that you will be able to compare amazing stuff okay so now let's try out another one i'm just going to remove the filter then i'm going to change the prompt here this time i'm ask, uh, asking it to draw a mysterious venetian masquerade so i remove the filter i will keep the negative prompting prompting as is and then let's click on generate or before that let me see if i could change one of the sampling apps so you see there are few samplers here um, so make sure that you also select a good sampler samplers there are various options in samplers like we have pndm we have this uh, lms and there are uh, we have this euler a and euler um, other one so these samplers like P, uh, PNDM, DDIM, these are techniques used in the generation process of diffusion models, which uh, and diffusion models are generative models. Now, for example, this PNDM is a sampling method designed to improve the efficiency and quality of generation process in diffusion models. And this Euler method is for case steps which is a numerical method used to solve ordinary differential equations and is applied in the context of continuous time diffusion models. In diffusion models, it is used to approximate the continuous dynamics of the reverse diffusion process by taking small steps with the Euler's method. This is what it is. So I'm just going to go with Euler method, click on generate. And you, we can, you, you can also delete it, but that is fine. There you go. How beautiful 
this Venetian one is how cool is that and then you can generate it let me give it one more prompt and I could go on and on the whole day maybe I will just go with a serene Zen garden let me go up a little this time I'm asking it a serene Zen garden at dawn peaceful morning view of a Japanese Zen garden minimalistic aesthetics and rate sand patterns wow, moss covered stones how tranquil that is amazing and if you don't like it you can regenerate it and you can do a lot of stuff with it you can apply filters you can change your prompt and stuff let me go with one last one so i'm just going to say it a vintage parisian cafe scene a street view of a quaint cafe in montmartre paris early 20th century vibe sepia tone old world charm bustling terrace there you go how cool is that and then of course you can apply different filters on it if you like so you can say dream shaper and click on generate and then you can already sense that when you apply the filters it takes a bit of a time so let's wait for it to come back there you go so this is your filtered image amazing stuff how realistic that looks and now in the last one i'm just generating an ancient samurai warrior in battle dynamic action shot of a samurai warrior mid battle traditional armor and lot of other stuff and another thing i have done is i have just given it a seed image of my own here this one so let's see if it is able to detect that um, but there is a warning there it says that there's a limitation with faces so their AI model cannot perfectly replicate an image especially the faces so you can see that it gave me an error so this is one limitation and drawback which i have found so far but other than that it is perfectly awesome as you can see yourself here that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching